What it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQ, KC, Boxing Network. Throwing down on another video. We know what it is. It's the talk of the weekend. Hell, it will be the talk of the next month or six months. Deontay the Bronze Bomber was defeated by Tyson the Gypsy King. Oh, I'm sorry, Gypsy Fiend. Fury. Now, let's get this straight first. Now, yes, I am a biased motherfucker when it comes to Deontay Wilder. No doubt about it. No, about, no doubt about it. When I do my show today, I will call to the damn floor people that don't have the appreciation for what this fighter has done. Yes, he has done a lot for the sport of boxing, period. Supporting the Jack Johnson family. Meeting the Pope. How many fighters out there have done the things he has done? How many black fighters out there has did what he has done for the black community? How many people out there, period, that create on YouTube can say that the WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder supports the LDBC in public on the tele on, on, on the uh, um, television? Yes, that was. That was a special moment for the LWC. But as I move on, now it's a new day. Now it's a new champion. Now maybe the coward that they call Anthony Joshua will step up to the plate. Now, we know, we all know he's scared of a Wilder. But what's the deal with Tyson Fury now? Now, Adam Smith reveals that he has been getting hundreds of calls. Overloaded calls. To make the Unification fight between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Now, we know unifications always trump mandatories. But will Anthony Joshua take that unification fight? Now, he said he would. But, of course, he said that about Deontay Wilder. He's been saying that about Wilder for three and a half years. And have they fought? No. So, basically... Will we see a unification fight? Will we see one face, one champion of the heavyweight division? But keep in mind, Deontay Wilder has a third fight. Remember, this is what we call a repeat because first was a draw. And he has a contract which is binding in the court of law so it doesn't matter he has to get his repeat he has to get his uh, second fight so will we see that before the unifications will we see what we saw between Canelo and Victor Ortiz when Victor Ortiz lost to Jolazito Lopez with a broken jaw that messed up Canelo and his big pay-per-view debut? Or will we see Deontay Wilder shake that shit off, regroup, and come back like the champion he was? Keep this in mind, people. Don't let others 
jump on the bandwagon and call them out if they are a Deontay Wilder fan be a fan now be a fan when the ups and the downs don't say oh well I know Deontay Wilder wasn't that great but don't worry I'm gonna hold back we'll talk about it when I come on today now my voice went out again Saturday night but that's okay I did and accomplished what I did and I want to thank all my subscribers I want to thank all the super chats and, 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 and paypals we had an astonishing night and we seen two warriors go at it hand to hand so in the particulars I will get into that also today but the moral of this video is this if you are a fan if you support Deontay Wilder support him now he needs your support more than ever right now like I tell everybody say what you have to say good to a person now because when, it's, when they gone they can't hear nothing you saying fuck that and also to Anthony Joshua all of a sudden now you grown some cojones all of a sudden now you the big bad heavyweight champion all of a sudden now you want to fight for a unification all of a sudden now you kind of carry yourself as a champion but I say to you Mr. Joshua, I say to you, the pathological Eddie Hearn has nothing has changed. Eddie Hearn is still Eddie Hearn. Bob Aaron is still Pampa Bob. And for you out there that think KQKC going to turn down his channel, don't do a daily show just because Deontay Wilder lost. You lost your damn mind. Yes. My show is about boxing. Pure boxing. But Deontay Wilder is not the only boxer. Do I support him? Yes. Do I support him now? Yes. Do I say congratulations to Tyson Fury? No. No. I mean, yeah, he won. No excuses. But it was... And I'm gonna quote, I'm gonna quote K. Diddy. Alright? Kenny Porter. The father of Sean Porter. And and I quote and unquote. Tyson Fury used a lot of dirty tactics. Now, don't get me wrong, it is boxing. And they do get away with it. But he did use a, a lot. He even tried to break his nose one time if you go back and look. When he had Wild in the corner, he took his glove and went up his nose with it. So it is what it is. Don't let KQ get started. So, with that, that's all I have for right now. Well, baby, we will talk about it. We will talk about how all of a sudden Anthony Joshua now is talking about unifications now that Wilder doesn't have the belt you see now for some strange reason he think he can beat Tyson Fury which maybe he can we all know that Tyson Fury cannot handle success we all know that he cannot handle being a champion we already witnessed that we already seen that so only bitch ass thing to do is trying to unify why Deontay Wilder is on the sideline. That's a bitch move. This is your champion, the UK people. That's your champion. Ain't nothing changed with Anthony Joshua. 
he still does strange for some change. There's no, it's no different. Ain't nothing has changed. So with that, I'm KQ, KC Boxing Network. If you like the content of this video, feel free to subscribe right now. And hit the bell icon. You will get notified each and every time I do a video, live stream, and call a fight. Don't forget, we have Mikey Garcia and Jesse Vargas this weekend. Yes, I will be calling that fight. So I say to you, when you hit that bell icon, you will get notified every time I do my live stream. Or you can remember Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Right here at KQKC Boxing Network. So with that, that's all I have. Shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers. I mean all my subscribers. We at 2,000 just about. And I've been having fun every step of the motherfucking way. So, like, subscribe, and give this video a like, thumbs up. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace.